A scorecard is a strategic management tool. You can determine and visualize your company's financial condition, customer acquisition, internal business and growth with it. It helps organizations monitor and measure their performance across various key performance indicators also known as KPI and strategic objectives. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a scorecard in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Here's a weekly sales report for 8 employees. This dataset includes the employee name, sales of 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th week. Also, the total sales of the corresponding employee is available. First and foremost, select sales in the C6 to F13 range. Then, go to the Home tab in the Styles group of commands. Click on Conditional Formatting drop-down. In the Icon Search feature, choose the first option from the directional group. Now, upon this selection, go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting drop-down, select the Manage Rules option. The Conditional Formatting Rules Manager will open. Select the Icon Set Rule, click on the Edit Rule button. At this time, the Edit Formatting Rule window will appear. Following, choose both types as number in the type section from the icon group. For the green icon, write 4001 in the value box. It indicates that when the value is greater than or equal to this value, it will be displayed with the green icon. Subsequently, write 3501 in the value box for the yellow icon. Click on the OK button. Again, click on the OK button in the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager window. As a result, you can see that your weekly sales scorecard is created successfully. You might want to make a total sales scorecard with bars. In order to do this, select the G6 to G13 cells, go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting drop-down, Data Bars feature. Then select the first option from the Solid Fill feature. And this is the outcome. At the very beginning of this step, create a new column named Dashboard beside the Total Cells column under column H. Place the cursor on column H, right click on it, from the context menu, click on Insert. Now, select cells H4 to H5 and merge them. Select cells in the H4 to H13 range and apply all borders. Now, I'll name the column Dashboard. Click on cell H6, go to the Insert tab, Sparklines group and Line tool. The Create Sparklines window will appear. At the Data Range box, write C6 to F6. Click on the OK button. The Trend line for John will appear in the H6 cell. Afterward, click on the H6 cell, go to the Sparkline Contextual tab, tick the options High Point and Low Point in the show group. Now, the high and low points are visible in the trend line. Place your cursor in the bottom right corner of cell H6. A black plus shape icon will appear. It's the fill handle tool. Now, drag it down to copy the trend to cell H13. Finally, all employees trend lines are visible and the whole scorecard is ready. In this tutorial, I have shown all the steps to create a scorecard in Excel. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.